So even after a hundred hours played in this game, trying to track down every single item, weapon, mod, etc., I just found something brand new that I had not seen before. Actually, two things two amulets and I'm going to show you guys how to get them. They're located in Lawsome and you're going to want to look for one of the burning dungeons, one of the burning areas. I think Butcher's Quarter, Cotton Kiln is another one. Any of the ones that look like the buildings are all burning in them, they are separate dungeons. And then within that dungeon, you need to get the RNG of the injectable, which is kind of like, I totally forgot about this, that before Remnant 2 came out, they were talking about how the dungeons are procedurally generated, like which dungeons you're gonna get in which area, but these injectable areas can be in the dungeon as well. So it's kind of an added level of RNG. And I kind of totally forgot that they had said that. And now it makes a lot of sense when we're starting to see a couple of these areas. But when you're in Lawsome in the burning area, you're going to want to search every corner of it because for me, I'm going to show you guys the path here in the background, but for me, it was in the very back corner and I almost missed it because I could have just gone to the checkpoint to finish the dungeon, but it was actually over here in this little corner and I'll show you guys a map. But what you're gonna wanna look for is this roof tile that has fallen down and is kind of like leaning up against the building. You're gonna see this roof tile and then you're also going to see a hole in the stone that's covered up by some wood planks. And you'll see on the map that it was like the very back corner of this dungeon. You're just gonna wanna destroy the wood planks and you can then scooch on past there and it'll pop up on your map once you do that so you'll see the direction you're going but you basically just want to follow this all the way down you're, you're going to go up the ladder here and this is such a crazy little hidden area so always keep your eyes peeled when you're in these areas also when you're back in here you're going to notice that there are some birds that are kind of positioned around they can kind of hurt. So if you're on a higher difficulty, just keep that in mind to make sure you kill the birds before you start running through because they're going to gang up on you. Like you can see, I get hit by a couple of them there. But you're going to want to make it to the rooftop across there. So make sure you get a little running jump start and then you can go ahead and drop down. I'm going to clear out as many birds as I can along the way. Also, the birds tend to drop a lot of iron, or at least the first time I went through here, they did. The second time here in this video, not as much, but they drop a decent amount of galvanized iron. So it's not a bad idea to uh, kill them on your way through. So you'll see the purple ahead there. That's what we're heading to. If I could just stop dealing with all these birds, I was trying to kill them so I could get some iron, but I actually didn't really get that much iron. But we'll take what we can get, but we're going towards the purple here at the end. And then we're going to go get that red drop over there as well. Oh my gosh, the birds. The purple drop there is the cleansing stone. I'm going to show you guys both of these in my inventory once we pick them up. And then the second item is this box right here, a wooden box, which is kind of interesting. It talks about like the birds, like this is their kind of hangout, the birds, and they put all their little shiny trinkets inside the box. But I'm wondering if you can use that box for something else, if we can give it to the web or uh, give it to somebody at Ward 13 or something. So I might start experimenting with that. If you guys have, leave a comment down below. But to get the effigy pendant amulet, you just have to interact with the box and it'll pop out and then it's yours. The box goes away, obviously. And then the cleansing stone amulet says reduces duration of elemental status effects against the wearer by 50%. Relic use cleanses elemental status effects and grants 15% of wearer's max health to all allies within seven meters when cleansed. So this could potentially be a good alchemist. And then the effigy pendant says while gray health is present, gain 15% to all damage dealt, 10% damage reduction, and one additional hit before gray health is removed. So this could be an interesting gray health build combined with medic or something where you have an additional hit before your gray health is removed. But that is the guide on how to get the cleansing stone and the effigy pendant in Remnant 2. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that guide. If you found anything to do with the wooden box, let me know in the comments below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.